Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. My customers often ask me what the differences are between OneDrive and SharePoint and in what situations they'd use them. So in this video, we're going to look at them both, talk about the similarities and the differences and why you would use which one and when. This video is gonna focus on OneDrive for Business, which is the version that comes with Microsoft 365. In Microsoft 365, you have two main places to store files, OneDrive and SharePoint. Both apps are based on the same technology. They look and feel the same and have many of the same features. So if you know how to use one, you can use the other. OneDrive is the place to store your personal files. Only you have access to it, so you can work on your own stuff there. And if you want to share it, you can. But the default is privacy. SharePoint, on the other hand, is the place to store your team files. Everyone in your team has access to it and you can do teamwork there and the default is to share. In OneDrive, you can just store documents. It's optimized to make it really easy for you to work on your own files. In SharePoint, you can also store documents in the same way, but you can create pages and work with lists of data as well. So it's more flexible, but more complex. If you only want to work with documents and prefer simplicity, then choose OneDrive. OneDrive has one library to store your documents and it's called My Files. In My Files, you can create or upload docs and you can have folders to store them in. In the SharePoint site, there's a default library called Documents and it works in exactly the same way. However, in a SharePoint site, you can have lots of libraries and anyone who has access to the site can create them. So you can end up with a lot. But if you need the flexibility to be able to create lots of libraries to store your documents in, then use SharePoint. In your OneDrive, nothing is shared unless you want it to be. Everything is marked as private unless you share it. And it's very easy to see what's been shared and stop sharing if you want to. In SharePoint, everything is shared with the team unless you don't want it to be. So everything you create there will be seen by all your teammates. If you prefer to work privately on your document and then perhaps share it when you're ready, then OneDrive is the place to do that. If you want to share a document as soon as it's created so people can collaborate on it with you or proof or review it, then SharePoint is the place to store it. So that's a quick overview of the differences and the similarities between OneDrive and SharePoint. I hope that helps and thanks for watching and see you next time.